Unique New York. <laughs> a tarantula enjoys a fine chewing gum. Hey, good morning, Warhawk Nation. It is Friday. This is the end of week two. It is Friday, September 4th. Welcome to your daily announcements. Let's start with the quote of the day. Uh, and really, this came from one of our staff members who asked to remain anonymous, but I, I think it's a great quote. It really speaks to what we're dealing with right now. Uh, and it goes like this. So um, folks from Haiti, the Haitians have a saying, and uh, it goes like this. Behind mountains, are more mountains. Behind mountains are more mountains. So one of the things that I'm feeling, you probably are feeling this way too, and our teachers are, and, and whatever you're doing, uh, whatever job you're doing, whatever you are in your life, you're gonna say, I've got a mountain to climb. And we've been climbing this mountain since March in terms of the COVID mountain. And it feels like every time we climb a mountain, we get to the top and we see there's another mountain to climb. However, what's really neat about this is as we're climbing this together, we get to the top, we have a different perspective on how to climb the next mountain. So all I have to say is this, even though we have more mountains to climb, even though things continue to change, as we climb together and we look at the next mountain, we have a different perspective, we have experience of how we just were successful in climbing the last mountain, use that experience in climbing the next one. And don't give up. We have to continue to work together. Don't give up. Let's keep climbing these mountains together. Reminder, now earlier this week, if you were watching the announcements, you heard me say, there are no days off in remote learning. And that's right, no days off in remote learning. But guess what? I'm gonna give you Monday off. So take a day off on Monday, all right? So a three-day weekend, Labor Day weekend. Enjoy yourself, it's supposed to be beautiful weather this weekend. Get outside, have some fun, uh, get yourself prepared for the, for the following week. So you guys have really worked hard and done a great job. Enjoy the weekend, take some time off, relax, come back ready to go next Tuesday. Speaking of uh, kind of how things are coming up and, and mountains decline, uh, remember uh, the Board of Education met this past Wednesday. They have decided to transition to the blended model. If you are in the virtual academy, WBEA, this does not affect you. This only affects students who are in the remote learning model. Our first day of school for cohort A, uh, we'll have more information for you, but cohort A information will be coming out. Our first day of school is scheduled for face-to-face um, -face for cohort A September 21st. Again, look for more information and details about how we're gonna roll this out as we anticipate having a staggered start for that week. So again, look for more information as we roll this out um, over the next week or so, all right? Uh, and then cohort B will be the following week in terms of the first time we're face-to-face. -face. So again, that's a mountain we're gonna have to climb together. Let's continue to work um, on the little things and to take care of the business on the day-to-day. -day. And before we know it, we'll be at the top of the next mountain. Sports recap, sports recap here. Uh, volleyball team is absolutely annihilating people. They are sweeping people up left and right. Get the brooms out. They swept Upper Arlington last night uh, in a very thrilling uh, match. Uh, they dominated play and they're just getting better and better. Uh, looking forward to the next time that these girls get out there, but they are just absolutely killing it. Keep spiking on folks. Uh, nice job, everybody. Uh, reminder tonight is our first home football game. We take on the Pick North Panthers from down south here. Uh, they're coming up uh, with a very good football team. Uh, our football team is excellent, and I'm expecting a great game tonight. Um, a reminder about ticket sales. Uh, tickets are very limited, and they're limited to families of the participants. So those are the football players, the cheerleaders, and our band uh, folks. Uh, they're taking up all the tickets. That means that we do not have tickets at the door. Uh, if you do not have a ticket, you cannot be on school property, uh, and, and uh, we just ask that you respect that. 
Um, also, I put a link in the uh, pupil, I'm, I'm sorry, a link in your Schoology. If you look in the announcements from yesterday, there's a link in there uh, to listen to the uh, live stream radio broadcast by Brent Ford of tonight's game. And now Brent, he uh, live streams all the games, and so uh, you can save that link and listen to Warhawk football. There also may be an opportunity for some video uh, this evening. Uh, again, you can uh, check my Twitter. I will have a live feed. If I have the op option and access to that uh, video feed, I will tweet that out, and you can click on it and watch the game uh, if we have that uh, availability tonight. At a minimum, listen to Coach Ford, listen to Brent Ford on the radio live stream. Folks, super proud of this uh, Warhawk Nation. Uh, I know tonight we're going to have a great football game, a great weekend. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Stay safe. Work hard today, learn something today, and remember, it's time to soar, Warhawks.